got off the plane into the rental car. It's 8 a.m. here, which is 4 a.m. back home in Canada. Adrenaline is a beautiful thing. And I'm just gonna keep going. Right, boys? You're not tired? I'm exhausted. I'm fall asleep at the wheel. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die. All right, day one, stop one. Look at Eric walking, what a little cutie. <laughs> We're gonna go over there, look at that. You see a whole bunch of tourists just lined up, so obviously that means there's something cool over there. So it's a pretty long walk to a bridge with a ton of people on it. Whatever the f is on the other side of that bridge better be worth it. So Eric, yep. give us some tips about landscape photography. Uh, pick a rock and take a picture. <laughs> Beautiful. That's essentially what we're doing here right now is we're just picking rocks and taking pictures of them. And Pretty much. We just Pull hope for the- rocks together in one <laughs> <spot>. <laughs> Just hope for the best. We're trying to take as many pictures of rocks and as few pictures of tourists as we can, which tourists, is tough. Tourists we're kind of off the beaten path now, so hopefully we have a little bit more luck. Eric, no shoe prints over there. Where are you going? Oh, oh, well, you found a secret path. It's not that secret, there's a fence. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. And there's people Take beside us. But let's let's watch the landscape photographer in action. Here we go. Give us something, Eric. Give us something to work with. There's nothing here. Give the people. A, yeah, you're well. You're the landscape photography expert. You're the photography expert. Period. I don't know. I like the shape of this tree for some reason. So right. I'm taking a picture of it. There. It's, it, it just looks like a bunch of what nothing. I just like this path. It's kind of cool. Either you're crazy or I'm missing something about landscape photography. I have never vlogged on such rocky terrain before and it's terrifying because you have to pay attention to where you're going and hold this heavy ass camera and Eric's showing you up with his landscape photography. There's too much going on. All right, so ding valir, thing valir, whatever valir it is, taught me two things. One, do not try to take photos where there are a bunch of tourists and two, I'm very out of shape. This is like day one, location one, and my legs hurt. So, next one. All right, ladies and gents, we're at Geyser now. Uh, just exploding water. It's actually pretty dope. Check this out. A bit of a walk here. I'm, I'm already tired. What are your thoughts about geyser? Uh, it shoots water, it's cool. Here. Actually, it's not cool, it's pretty hot. Uh, just like that, geyser down, golf off to go. Let's do it. Eric, what's the game plan here? Try not to hit the waterfall with Vlad. Vlad's the, the drone, by the way. Gonna uh, get some sweet drone shots and not crash the drone. So it's too windy to fly Vlad, the drone. Come on, check that out. How dope is that? Now I know we just said we're not gonna fly the drone, but we're doing it. You're in Iceland, you're only here once, most people. So I don't know when I'm coming back, I might as well fly the drone, let's do this. Footage. A little nerve-wracking. It's also illegal to fly drones here. We learned that. Yep. Someone had to tell us though. Yep. She was a real. Uh, she was real, pleasant. She was a real go-getter. That's for sure. Pleasant. Yeah. But we got the footage. We did. So yeah, it was worth it. All right. So we just got back from touring around, checking out all the sites. Um, we're staying at this dope little Airbnb. I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's horses. Our place? Horses. Hey guys, hey. I didn't know what to do, <laughs> what to do. I thought you were gonna talk. Okay, so um, <laughs> that's pretty much it for the first day. 
Yep. We're gonna go to bed super early. It's like seven o'clock. Steve and I are gonna cuddle and uh, see you guys tomorrow. Yep. Bye guys. All right. Shut up, Eric. God. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, it's day two. Pretty tired because it's like waking up at 3 a.m. But we're gonna grab a quick breakfast of champs and head out and see more. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh. Load it up. You guys, you want to come with us? No, okay, cool. Tell the people where we are, Steve-O. We just arrived at Selandrafoss. Apparently, this is where part of Dorsmork, which is where Thor, I don't know, Eric's talking about Thor. He <laughs> likes the Avengers, but it looks pretty cool. Stop number two on the day, Skogafoss. Yo, this thing is massive. And Eric and Steve, I don't know if you can see them, all the way back there. Just being ballsy, heading right into the actual waterfall. Obviously, for the sake of the camera, I'm not gonna go in there. So it's starting to rain out here. We were gonna leave Skogafoss. Then we noticed like this giant staircase and yep. wanted to go up it. And Eric made an excellent point and a callback to an older video, Eric. Don't forget tip number one. Uh, Don't be a p It wasn't tip number one, but yeah. What was the I tip literally then? said to you guys, if it's raining out, you should get out and shoot. So we're not leaving, we're gonna go up the stairs and we're gonna see what's up. This is actually a giant staircase. All the way up. All the way up there. Like a quarter of the way up, regretting my decisions, but gotta keep going. Oh my god. We're like halfway up now. Claws are burning. If it's okay with you and Eric, I think I'm just gonna die here. That's okay, we'll pick you up on the way down. I can see the top. I can see the top. We made it. What do you guys think? Should we go for a quick swim? Yeah, I'm no. Dive in? Yeah, do it. I'm okay. I'll pass on this one. <laughs> so we came all the way up here. Now we have to head all the way back down. I think I'm gonna count the steps on the way down to see exactly how much work we did to get here. Let's see what we got. I'll tell you guys at the bottom. A measly 442 steps. It's a pocket change. <laughs> I did it no problem. Didn't even think I wasn't gonna be able to do it. All right, next stop is like an Iceland staple. Originally we thought we were coming for a sightseeing tour. Turns out we're coming for endurance training because the plane crash is like two million miles off the road and we gotta hike it. So that's what we're doing now. It's gonna be a tiring day. All right, after a couple clicks walking on the black sand beaches here, we made it to the plane crash. So it's time for some sick B-roll. Here we go. I really hope this camera is as weatherproof as Canon claims because it's pissing out here. Woo! It is really raining. 
It's worth it though. Right now we're at the black sand beaches. Yeah, check this out. All right, successful day two. Yes. Eric, what did you think? How'd it go? Pretty good. Day two's not over. Yeah, they were pretty awesome. There you go. You heard it from Steve. They're pretty awesome. Hooey, what a cliffhanger. Oh boy, oh my. That's a real crazy ending, huh? Tune in in like a year and a half or longer to see how we unravel this 